start by roughly outlining your design with any liner pencil. It doesn't have to be neat or any specific colour because it's just a rough guide and we'll be painting over it anyway. I'm using two reference photos, one of a monkey and another of a Chinese theatre monkey design uh, where they paint their faces for Chinese theatre because I'm going to be doing a half and half design. On the theatre side, paint the outer portion of the face white and the inside section red, all but the eye socket, that needs to be white as well. Then also paint the nose and mouth areas with white. You might need a couple of coats of white to get nice coverage, so let the first layer dry and then go over it again if necessary. For the realistic monkey side, start with an all over wash of light brown face paint. And then a darker brown around the edges of the face and also areas of depth. as well as a few areas of detail such as around the nose and the mouth To get that hairy texture, mix up some very dark brown and apply that with a fine brush in flicking motions, going from the outside of the face inward.
and also use this dark brown to paint in a pointy nostril shape. Continue to layer different shades of brown with the fine brush until you're happy with your furry, hairy texture. Use a medium brown face paint to draw in some wrinkles around the eyes and the upper lip. and then darken the eyes with a dark brown to make them look more sunken in. Back to the theatre side, use a black eyeliner pencil to refresh the pattern lines. And then go over those lines with a black face paint, thickening the lines up in places just to create a little bit of a flowing effect. The sweeping lines around the eye socket area are a little bit tricky, so if you get any smudging just go back in with white and correct it once it's dry. Fill in the remaining outline of the mouth and nose areas with black. and then continue to thicken up those black lines on the cheeks. Also outline your red section with black. Now the monkey side is dry, go back in with a very light brown 
and give a few highlights to the hairs. Now for the chest piece, I'm using a Chinese symbol, it's the symbol for monkey. So I found a picture on Google and then I flipped it so it was a mirror image and that made it a lot easier to recreate that in the mirror when I was doing that on myself. It might also be worth trying to draw this out on paper as well, just so that you get the feel for the shape that you're trying to achieve. Use a red face paint to draw on the basic shape and then thicken any lines as required. If I was to do this again, I'd try and centre it a little bit better, but hey ho, it's a learning curve. I'm using white face paint to highlight the symbol. And then using a black loose pigment to shade around the outside, or you could use a black eyeshadow. And I'm leaving a little gap between the red and the shading. followed this shading with a touch of red eyeshadow, I just wanted it to be really soft and cloudy looking. And then to finish, I've added some golden yellow dots around either side. Now the face is dry, you can go ahead and apply your jewels down the centre of the face. If you're wearing this for any longer than a few minutes, I'd recommend using an eyelash glue or even spirit gum to hold them on better. But because I wasn't wearing this for long, I just stuck them straight on using the adhesive that was already on the back. This is the look complete. I hope you like it guys, I certainly enjoyed doing it. Please subscribe if you're new and check out my other videos. Happy New Year, I hope you have a really happy and prosperous New Year and I'll see you again soon, bye!